Hello everyone, I just saw Dumbo, directed by Tim Burton and starring Danny DeVito, Michael Keaton, and Eva Green. Now, when it comes to the classic 1941 Dumbo film from Disney, it was one of their earliest animated films and it definitely stands as a classic. I mean, it has amazing animation, a great story and message, and a few elements that do not hold up by today's standards, but hey, it was the 40s, so I give it a pass for that. Now, in this 2019 live-action reboot, it's definitely a much more conventional kind of story, and that has its good sides and its downsides. Well, let's get to the story itself, shall we? The story is about a, a struggling circus owned by Max Medici, who is played by Danny DeVito. When one of his employees, Holt, returns from the war with, with only one arm, and he gets an elephant who's who gives birth to a ba baby elephant with oversized ears, it seems like initially his circus is going to go down the tubes. But when Holt's kids figure out that Dumbo can, that this uh, elephant named Dumbo can fly, he ends up as a resounding success. So much so that a man named Vanderveer, played by Michael Keaton, wants him to, wants him to bring his elephant over to Dreamland to make his show, you know, the most successful it can possibly be. So yeah, the story here is a lot more traditional, where our main characters start out at the bottom, get something big that brings them to the top, and an evil ba bad guy has them go to his place, and then he shows why he's a bad guy, and then, you know, the whole thing goes over. It's a very... For Tim Burton to do a story like that, does make me realize how his stories are becoming a lot more conventional. And the bad news is that it makes the story pretty predictable. As you can tell pretty much exactly when something is going to happen, who's going to do what, and even how the climax might go. Granted, there are a few surprises here and there, but most of them aren't plot related. But thankfully, there are, but thankfully, there are plenty of great performances that keep the film enjoyable. Danny DeVito as, as Max is you know, as over the top as you'd expect and enjoyable as you'd expect. Michael Keaton really seems like he's in his element as Vanderveer. And I even liked Eva Green as Colette. Even her French accent didn't really get to me that much. Colin Farrell as Holt was surprisingly bland to me, mainly because I know he's a great actor in other things. And also newcomer Nico Parker is surprisingly great as his da daughter Millie. She kind of ends up as one of the main characters of the film. You see, in the original Dumbo, the humans weren't the main focus. It was the talking animal characters where Dumbo was just sort of an observer. In this movie, Dumbo is again an observer, but the, but the talking animals aren't the main characters. Instead, the humans are, and the humans aren't really that interesting, except for the few that I mentioned. Though, the circus performance's side characters also get a few good lines here and there and are generally likable. Also, one thing I liked about the film is that it has many clever references to the original film. There's a mouse at one point that's dressed up like the mouse from Dumbo. There's, there's an, a really cool scene with bubbles that clearly references the pink elephant scene. Well, it's not really the pink elephant scene, but it does pay homage to it, which I really loved. I always wanted to see what Tim Burton would do with a scene like, like that. And heck, even Max Medici sings the Casey Train song. So for fans of the original film, they'll really appreciate all the clever references. But another thing that people might, that might be something that people would like or dislike is how the story not only is conventional, but how the ending is wildly different from the original. I won't spoil it here, but let's just say the ending might touch on a few things that people wouldn't really expect or really want in a Dumbo movie, but I'll leave it up to you whether you think it's a good ending or not. So overall, Dumbo doesn't exact, exactly reach the heights of the, original, of the original, despite the fact that it does have some really good performances some excellent music and some great references, it definitely doesn't live up to the, uh, to the greatness of the original. But I think as, on, on its own, it's one of the more middling live-action reboots. It's not terrible, it's not amazing, it's smack dab in the middle. So 
I'll give Dumbo a 6.5 out of 10. See you next time.